Over the past 50 years, our lives have been transformed by the invention of plastic. Coming in an assortment of colours, textures, shapes, sizes, thicknesses, and having a wide range of uses, plastic has revolutionised the world. From food containers to carpets, bottles to clothes, medicine to gardening, you could say that plastic has taken over our lives. But as a major factor of our lives, how much do we take it for granted? Plastic is a polymer. A polymer is a molecule that is made up of small repeat units called monomers. Monomers are made of atoms. Each monomer could have anything from 4 to 40 atoms. This particular example is of polyethylene terephthalate, or PET, which is used to make plastic water bottles. The atoms which make the monomers, and therefore the polymers, ultimately decide the properties which the plastic ends up having, and these properties determine the plastic's use. To make plastic, you often start with two separate molecules that react and combine to form a monomer. By reacting large quantities of the starting materials together, many monomers are formed, which then react together to make polymers. These polymers interact and give the plastic its properties. For example, to make PET, ethylene glycol and dimethyl terephthalate are reacted together in a condensation reaction to form a monomer. A condensation reaction basically links two molecules together and in the process gives out a small molecule such as H2O, water. These monomers then react to form long chain polymers. This is a simplified version of how this happens. Almost all of these starting materials come from crude oil. This is a natural resource that is used for all manner of things. Diesel fuel, heating oil, jet fuel, fertilizers, synthetic fibers, paint, medicine, makeup and plastic to name just a few. Being a natural resource it will one day run out and with the production of so many things depending on it means the more we use for one thing the less there is available to make another. With this resource being depleted it is becoming more and more important for us to do something to help minimize the future implications that using so much crude oil may cause. Every year, millions of tonnes of plastic is thrown into landfills. This is a massive waste of resources, along with having huge environmental impacts. A single plastic bottle will take almost 700 years to decompose, yet in a matter of weeks it could be recycled into something far more useful. This may seem insignificant to just one bottle, but if you think that in Britain 15 million bottles are disposed of daily, that is an awful lot of space being taken up in landfill sites. By throwing the bottle in a landfill, you are throwing away not just a bottle, but also possible carrier bags, window frames, insulation boards, sleeping bag filling, or garden furniture set, all of which can be made from recycled plastic. By recycling, you are not just creating something new, but also you are conserving energy. By recycling an old plastic bottle into a new plastic bottle, you can serve enough energy to power a 60 watt bulb for up to six hours. If all 15 million bottles were recycled each day, enough energy would be conserved to power a light bulb for over 10,000 years. So what can we do instead of throwing away our plastic? First of all, consider if it can be reused. By refilling a plastic bottle numerous times, not only does it save space in a landfill, it also saves you a couple of pounds, as you won't have to buy a drink each day. Some people, however, say that this is not safe or unhygienic. But as long as no hot liquids are used in the bottle, it is perfectly safe to reuse it up to around ten times. And reusing doesn't have to stop at just plastic bottles. A plastic bag can be taken back to the shop to be refilled. Takeaway Chinese tubs could be used for storing food or bits and bobs like screws or craft materials and old plastic toys, instead of being binned, could be given to a charity shop for another generation to enjoy. If your plastic product has come to the end of its life cycle and is damaged or broken, then you should consider recycling. Many people claim that recycling is pointless and time-consuming, but this is not true. 
Almost everywhere in Britain has amenities to recycle. In some places, there are curbside collections, whilst in other places, collection points are located around the county and often outside supermarkets. Unfortunately, not all plastics can be recycled, but there is a relatively easy way to tell the type of plastic and therefore whether or not it can be recycled. Most plastic items should be marked with an easily identifiable number from 1 to 7. Each number represents a different type of plastic. The most commonly recycled plastics are polyethylene terephthalate, PET, and high-density polyethylene, HDPE. These are the easiest plastics to recycle and are therefore most widely recycled. PET is marked with the number 1 and is used to make plastic drinks bottles. It is probably the most easily identifiable of plastics. HDPE, marked with the number 2, is one of the most commonly used plastics and is used to make things such as plastic milk bottles. It is possible to recycle low-density polyethylene, LDPE, which is essentially just plastic bags. But due to the light weight of the plastic and the contamination caused by the printing ink, it is slightly more difficult and generally they are transformed into bin liners. Interestingly, HDPE and LDPE are made of the same monomer. The difference, however, comes in the making of the polymer. HDPE has a linear polymer, whereas LDPE has a linear backbone with branches coming off it. These branches stop the polymers from interacting together to the same extent and so the plastic is not as strong. Let's consider the method for recycling a plastic bottle. First of all, the bottles are sent to a sorting plant where they are sorted into plastic type using an infrared light source and then into colour. The sorted bottles are bundled and sent to the place where they will be recycled. Upon arrival, the bottles are shredded, washed, melted and reformed into pellets. These pellets can be remade into other plastic bottles or into any number of other things. Did you know that it takes just 25 PET bottles to make a fleece jacket? Or that plastic lumber is estimated to last for 400 years, far outliving the wooden benches or decking it replaces? This itself helps the environment by reducing the number of trees that are cut down to make such things. Recycling plastic really does minimise damage to the environment. As well as conserving natural resources, less energy is used in recycling compared to making plastic from scratch. Fewer greenhouse gases are released into the atmosphere. There are also major concerns about the amount of plastic that is currently floating in the Pacific Ocean. This mass of soup, as it has been termed, stretches almost from Hawaii to Japan. The plastic washes up onto beaches where you can find anything from cigarette lighters to toys all made from plastic, ruining the landscape and killing marine wildlife. This mass could be reduced simply by people recycling their plastic instead of mindlessly throwing it away. So next time you go to throw away some plastic, think, reuse, recycle.